You know, the, the ability to have mapping uh, has, has come so far uh, to people today, you know, wearing it on your watch, having it on your phone, having it in your hand. Uh, it's amazing the technology advances that are out there. And it's something that in a, in a deer tracking scenario that is, is invaluable. You know, it's everybody's gonna mark a stand that's using some of these and be able to understand where they're at, how to get to and from a location. But being able to use it uh, and take it a step further, you know, analyzing the topography, understanding sunrise and sunset and all that data that you can put in there. But after a shot is taken, being able to mark blood trails, being able to mark the last blood, you know, and go right back to it, but being able to analyze that data on places that you've looked, and it's, it's every hunter's nightmare to take a shot and the blood ends, and you mark it. And then you go into that grid search that you hear about where four or five of your buddies are cutting back and forth. Well, if you'll use a handheld GPS, you can eliminate some of the areas uh, and know that you covered them. Know that, hey, we got that quadrant, but oh my goodness, we missed this whole 200, 300 yard stretch right here. And it will tell you where some of those things are. So as you look at this little set of black lines right here, this is actually a track for a deer that was uh, shot at in the evening. We, we took the shot way up here and you can see the lines that go there. That's the actual blood trail and that 003 number is where I threw a waypoint where we lost uh, lost blood about midnight on that particular deer right there. As you zoom in and kind of scroll around you can see all of the tracking as we tried to find more blood. We're, we're dialed in to 120 feet of the, of the spot right there and you can see all the lines and you know and that's just me uh, looking around. There's three other people out here. Now when you look at this and further analyze it, you know, this this direction here, I never looked for blood. And then when you go back up here, I never looked for blood. So as you break that down that night after you go back and you're getting ready to track the next morning, you can begin to expand your searches to those areas of unknown because this is a known. We didn't find the blood right there. Let's look in some of the areas of unknown and see what uh, what we might be able to find. Now coming out of that type of a track at nighttime, would we have been able to figure that out where we you know, looked and where we didn't? Possibly, but I guarantee you with a handheld like this, whether it's on your watch or right here, we were able to know exactly the areas that we missed.